Welcome to Cover Design Studio. In this video, we walk you through formatting a Word document into a manuscript that can be submitted to CreateSpace and Kindle using our Word templates for book interiors. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do once you open the template, go Save As. We'll save this as a Word document. So we'll rename this document your book name, you'll fill in your actual book name, and create space. If you're only making a Kindle book, you can call this Kindle, but we'll call it create space for now. Now this way you have two working documents. You have the original template in case you need to start all over and go back to it, and you have this one that we're going to make all sorts of adjustments to. So before we dive in, let's just go over an overview of all of the elements that are found in the template. Here we have the title page, which will have your title, subtitle, and your author name. We have a legally binding copyright page, an active table of contents, which is signified by these little brackets around the word. These won't actually show up in your printing, but they indicate that this is a clickable table of contents, so if you are doing a Kindle book, people will be able to click on the chapter and be taken to it within the Kindle. Then we have the chapter headings, the body, and then we also have the page numbers and footers. And these templates can be changed into any trim size, which we'll do later. It's not something you want to do right from the beginning, but we'll work through all that as we unpack this whole template here. So let's go back up to the top and start with the title page. If you haven't already, you can go ahead and delete these red instructions. They are the instructions that brought you to this video. And you'll see when I hit backspace and delete it that the title and author name move closer together, whereas if I hit uh, return or enter, they get farther apart. So you can play with this and get it set up just how you'd like to. Now you'll also notice on the title page there's another little bracket here, and again that's just for if, if you are turning this into a Kindle book. This is an active part of the use of Kindle, but it will not show up in printing. So we're going to go ahead and change, um, change each of these elements. You'll want to change each different styling at the same time. So we don't want to highlight this whole thing and type over it or we'll lose the two different styling options here. So we'll start with the title. And I want this in all caps. You can do the same thing with the subtitle. Oops, I don't want that one in all caps. And you'll do the same with the author name. Now as you go through this, you might find that this title page is something that doesn't look exactly like you want it to. And in traditional publishing, often the title page in the book looks a lot like the front cover. So if you want to change the typeface to match that of your front cover, you can do so the same way you always would in Word, or if you don't want these in all caps, uh, etc. You can make these closer together or farther apart, whatever looks best for your particular title and name. Now one thing I want to mention right away is you're making changes to this Word document. If you're here watching this video, you likely know that Word, as great of a program as it is, is very finicky and tricky, and once you really start trying to format something into a professional manuscript, it becomes very tricky to work with. And so if you accidentally do some video where maybe we accidentally hit return too many times and you can see that the formatting has gotten messed up, instead of trying to fix it, always just go to the back button. Or for some versions of Word, it will be edit undo until you get it back to where it was. If you try to fix it, it's most likely just going to make things worse. So Let's move on to the copyright page, and I'm going to zoom in on this so that you can see it a little bit better. This is our legally binding copyright page. You're going to want to change, of course, uh, the year, if it's not accurate, and add your own author name. And country of origin is the thing that you're going to want to change as well. 
Now here you'll, you see we have ISBN 13 and ISBN 10. If you're publishing through CreateSpace, they'll give you both of those numbers that you can add here. If you don't need these or you don't need one of them, you can just simply highlight them and delete them. Now there's a little bit of space left if there's anything extra that you need to add to your copyright page. For instance, um, if you need to give credit to an artist or someone who helped you with your book cover, you can do so here by just clicking close to the edge there and clicking enter. And then you can start typing whatever you need to add. Save as we go along here. Next is the table of contents. And in most versions of Word, this table of context, contents is active in such a way that it should update itself as you change all the chapter headings and make them your own. Okay, so let's start with our first chapter heading. We can see that it's chapter one. And I'm gonna change the title from something that is worth your effort, aspiration. And you can see how easy that is to do. Now every once in a while you might run into a formatting problem. For these chapter headings, I don't recommend copy and paste because they can get a little fussy. I recommend just typing it straight in the way that I just did. Again, if something weird happens with the formatting, say I accidentally hit the delete key and this happens, I'm just going to go and hit undo and put it back where I was. For each chapter, there are four pages of text. I'm going to go to my manuscript and copy the first chapter. And go back to my template and highlight this first chapter, though I'm going to leave the very last line. Hopefully you can see that down here. It's a short little line. I'm going to leave that not highlighted, and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing except for that very last line. And then I'm going to go right click or edit, paste. And my new manuscript went in here. So I pasted my own manuscript here, and we can see this little marker here. What you want to do with this is click on it and select Match Destination Formatting. Now we have one more thing to deal with, and that's this last line that we did not highlight. And that's not my manuscript. That's from the original template. And of course, I don't want that there. So what I'm going to do is click in front of it, and I'm going to just slowly hit Delete until each letter is gone. Perfect. Now if I hit Delete too many times, this happens. Again, we're just going to click Undo. Okay, and then going on to Chapter 2, you'll just do the same thing. Highlight it and make it your own chapter name. You'll paste your second chapter into this section. And you just do that for every chapter. So let's go back up to the first chapter because there's some changes that you'll want to make in each of these. So traditionally, in a traditionally published book, there are two things to note. There's not a page number or a footer on the first page of a chapter, and the first paragraph of a chapter is not indented, as we see it's indented here. So we need to change that by just clicking right in front of the first letter and going up to the ruler if you don't have a ruler, you can find that under View and select Ruler. Your layout may look different if you have a different version of Word. But we're going to go to this triangle right here on the ruler and move that over. And by clicking here before we did it, it'll move just this paragraph. You can see the rest are still indented as they should be. And then the last thing that you can do in this, in the beginning of each chapter, Commonly in books, the, the first three words or so of a chapter will be in all caps. 
And I've highlighted the first three words here, so we can do that. I could either just type it in manually, or I could go to Home, Font, and select All Caps. So the next thing we need to adjust are these footers. So the page numbers are already in place. What needs to be changed is here we have the title of the book and the author name. And the way to do that is we're going to go up to the top and go to Insert, Select Footer, and then go to Edit Footer. So all the formatting is in place. You just need to change it to match your own name and your book's name. Just go ahead and highlight just this section. You don't want to highlight even a space beyond it. And change it to your own book name, whatever that happens to be. And you'll see that your own book name is now filling in in every spot. The next thing we need to change is the author name, which you'll see on page three. And you just change that to your own name. And you can see that this is not italicized, but your book name is. Let's change this to your name. So I just want to make sure that this filled in the way that it should have. And I can see that it has. It's continuing on. And it's continuing on into chapter two. Now remember, the first page of a new chapter doesn't have any footers in it. And so this is correct. OK, now we can go ahead and click Close Header Footer. We can go ahead and change the trim size. So this is a 6 by 9. If that's what you're using, great. You don't need to do anything. If you're publishing just a Kindle book, you don't need to do anything either. But say you're doing a 7 by 10 for your Create Space. Click Control A, which selects everything in the document. I can see that it's all selected. And then I go to Page Layout, Size, click More Paper Sizes. I'm going to select Custom Size and change this to 7 by 10. And then I'm going to go down here to where it says Apply To and click Whole Document. And then I click OK. So that's going to change my page sizes. And I want to look at the whole thing to make sure it changed. All the pages are the same size. And now what we need to do is update the table of contents. What I'm going to do is click in this table of contents. If you don't see this popping up, go to References. And you'll find a table of contents somewhere in there and an option to click Update. So I'm going to click Update the table. So I have a choice to click Update Page Numbers Only or Update Entire Table. So I want to click Update Entire Table every time in case you've made some sort of change. The chapter titles have changed and the page numbers are matched up accordingly. Now, if you have a version of Word that for some reason this isn't working, you're just going to have to go and do these manually, which is very easy to do as well. You click inside here, highlight over the things that you need to change, type in the name of the chapter, and here you can change the page numbers. And you may have some extra chapters within the table of contents that need to be deleted. So you can just go ahead and delete. Let's say we had a 12 chapter book. I'm going to go ahead and delete what I don't need. So I'm going to go up Save As. I have Adobe PDF on my computer, but if you don't, you can just use the one that Word provides. So we'll click that one here. OK, so we want Standard Publishing Online and Printing. We can click Options. We want All. We want the document. We want document structure for tags for accessibility. And we want this top box checked. It should say PDFA right here. And click OK. And then click Publish. And this that shows up is the PDF that can be submitted to CreateSpace. And of course, with everything, you'll want to go through and double check that everything is accurate and looks the way that you want it to. OK, so I'll close this. And we'll go back to our template. So if you're doing a CreateSpace and a Kindle book, they have slightly different requirements for what's being submitted. We'll go up to File again, or this symbol, and go Save As, another Word document. And this one we're going to title the name of your book followed by the word Kindle instead of CreateSpace.
And now up here you can see that this is a separate document. This is the one for Kindle. So what we'll do just to make the few changes we need to is go into Insert, Footer, and we'll go to Edit Footer again. And this time we're just going to delete out, highlight and hit backspace, we're going to delete these footers. We can scroll through and see that they've all come out. So we'll go back up and find the table of contents. Actually, we need to close the header. Then we'll find the table of contents again. So I'm going to highlight each one and hit backspace. This is the only way, at least in my version of Word, to get rid of these numbers. Highlight it, don't highlight the whole thing, and hit backspace. Okay, so once all of the page numbers have disappeared, we've removed the footers, we can go File, Save, and then Save As, and we're going to make this into a PDF as well, just the same way we did with the other PDF. Click OK, and click Publish. And this will create the Kindle PDF that we need to submit to the Amazon Digital Platform.